What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. If you guys remember about a year and a half ago, we traveled down to Georgia and met a subscriber named Doug who had an Argo 8x8 Magnum. Now this is an eight wheeled Argo powered by a Kohler 18 horse uh, opposed twin engine. It is a crazy awesome vehicle. I've never seen one in my life. So we traveled to Georgia, brought it home. It had some blown out bearings and a bunch of issues that been sitting for years in a garage. Uh, so we basically got it running. The brakes didn't work. Like I said, bearings was blown out. Chains was packed so tight of grease. It was disgusting. So we wanted to revamp this Argo. So we took it apart, found a lot of issues and started ordering parts. Well, as the story goes, we pushed it outside to wait on the parts and then things in the garage just got more compact and more compact. We never could bring it back in the garage. So this thing's been sitting in the weeds for another year and a half after it done set in a garage for over eight years probably. Uh, Go Power Sports hooked it up and got us all new bearings for this Argo because that was a huge expense. So big shout out to Go Power Sports. So now we're gonna pull it back in the garage, redo it, and we're gonna be doing a collaboration with Finnegan's Garage. If you guys know Finnegan, he's from Roadkill. YouTube channel, awesome channel awesome guy and we can't wait to do a collaboration with him let's get this thing running and then we'll be able to take it on water ourselves and then go do a collaboration with finnegan and uh, just have us a good old time on the argo so let's get to it Using a buttload of citrus degreaser from your boys at Blaster. What up, Blaster? What up? <laughs> There's a ton of crap in here. You want to hose it all down? It smells delicious. That is true. It'll break up all that grease. We're re greasing all this, but I just want to get all that old junk out. You can tell people just caked on grease year after year. That smells like oranges. It is, yeah, it's citrus. It smells good, really good. So we've got all the parts laid out for the Argo. Now I'm gonna soak the chains and sprockets in some diesel because it's got a ton of old oil and, or grease on them. And it's caked up like crazy. Money here what it do <clears throat> so we've been cleaning this double 50 chain for this argo zoom in on that crust and that's a pretty well clean one they was like completely packed with grease then we put them in a bucket was going to soak them in diesel guess what happened to that bucket got rained in so Trick now shot. now we got rusty grease but none of the chains rusted grease protected it you have its old duramax uh, pressure washer this got left out in the rain on accident after two wind rock meetups ago so we're gonna pull the pump off of it and we're gonna see if it's a straight shaft. We're gonna put that tilt center out there on it, which is gonna be pretty sick if it'll work. Ooh, they blew Loctite that puppy in there. That's quality. Oh, look at that. So straight we're, shafty going, boy. we're going to pull this engine off instead of working on this. 
We're going to pull this puppy off. We're going to slap on the tilts and 212 from Go Power Sports on our pressure washer. So, more horsepower, more better. You know what I'm saying? That's so, uh, all we have to do is take the four bolts out of the bottom of the motor now. Bibbidi bobbidi boop, Bob's uncle. Boom, we got a new pressure washer, double the horsepower. Actually, like quadruple, because this one has no horsepower right now. And we can fix this engine. I just don't want to work on the engine right now. That's going to be pretty cool on here. So that's what we're going to do. Race pressure washer. Yeah, race pressure washer. Only the best. Hopefully our pump didn't freeze up. <clears throat> Okay, so how do you hold it? So this Duramax has these motor mounts for vibrations and it's like it has a nut inside of here. Ooh, about tipped it over. But if I try to loosen this one, it spins the nut. If I try to loosen that down there, it spins it. So we're gonna try to grab this with a set of pliers so we can pull the bottom nuts off. So unfortunately, go ahead and pull it off, Braxton. The motor mounts broke. They had these rubber things. I have no clue how you're supposed to take those off. I think they loctited the the nuts on and that's why it broke these. So we're probably just going to put a piece of rubber, like knock these out, put a piece of rubber on them, you know, just isolate it and go with that. So we'll get that new Tilson 212 from Go Power Sports installed. Okay, so we went to Napa and bought, these are those plugs that when you tighten up, swell them out. It's a little higher than I wanted to pay. It was about $10 for four of them, but I'd rather have them than not have them. So now, I'm just gonna, nope, that's the wrong engine. That's stupid. That do be the wrong engine, though. That do be do. So we got the new Tillotson. We have a Tillotson on our killer, and it's nice. So that'd be just as nice to slap one of these on. So now we'll just get our bolts lined up, get this slapped on. And we'll show you how she runs. Pretty excited about this, bro. So we have all the parts laid out. If you remember back in the day, we had one bearing flange that was messed up. Uh, so we replaced it and Argo actually came out with a new bearing flange that has uh, double seals in there. I don't know if you can tell that, but it has two seals just to, I guess that's a second uh, precaution just to keep water out of the, uh, the hole, whatever you wanna call it, the body of the Argo. So uh, we have seven of the original styles. Now I wasn't gonna replace all these because these are about $45 a piece. Uh, but I did buy all new seals, of course, and we have all new bearings for every axle. Uh, we're using the same sprocket and chain because nothing's wrong with them. I'm going to have to order some chain link because, unfortunately, we lost a handful of chain links since this thing's been sitting for so long. What's uh, interesting is how Argo holds the seals in. You can see they take a punch and they bend little tabs around that bend into the, the seal. So... The only thing that sucks about that is you can see where it looks like either Argo did eight of those on the original flanges or someone's changed the seals some point in this thing's life and then, you know, re-bent more tabs. So what we have to do, and that's what it looks like the case is, uh, we're going to have to take a Dremel on all seven of these and grind any of those lips from those bent tabs off so we won't damage our seal when we put them in. So I'm gonna use uh, this sleeve retainer to hold my seals in instead of bending those tabs. That's gonna allow it in the future if you blow a seal 
and have to pull out an axle, you don't have to do any more grinding because what that's eventually going to do is leave you no room to bend tabs down. You know, after, and I don't, this thing could be around forever. Who knows? This is the same thing as the Loctite 638, I think it is. Uh, I had to order this. No one, no part store kept this in stock. So now I'm going to prepare all these, uh, all these flanges and get everything laid out in order how i'm going to put it back in the argo because we're going to start at the back and work our way forward we're going to put all the axles and bearings in and sprockets work our way forward chain will be last we'll start from the back put the chain in and go all the way to the front until we run out of chain links uh, and we are going to order some chain links today so let's get started gasket with that lip sticking out that way so just like that
All right, guys, so we got all the sprockets and all the shafts back in. Everything's water tight now. On the next episode, you'll see us put all the wheels and tires on, all the chain in. This thing has double 50 chain connecting each one of those axle, axle shafts, and it just links it all the way down. There is a little gearing change uh, through from the diff to the main axles that we'll show you in the next episode uh, how we did the layout of the sprockets but uh, everything's back to its former glory the only thing we lost with this thing setting for so long was uh, three master links so we got those ordered and it was a actually went down to a local co-op and they had double 50 master links uh, so that's pretty handy so on the next episode we'll be able to put the chain in put that top half of the body on and it was riveted from factory and we're actually going to bolt everything together with quarter inch bolts i think we've used over a hundred bolts and nuts on this thing uh so you'll see that the, i don't want to rivet it because if finnegan ever wants to take it apart and do something crazy with it he'll have the option to just unbolt everything and the real reason it was only riveted from factory was for convenience and speed i would assume from assembling it so uh and you don't really ever have to ta take the top half of the body off you can access the engine and the chain with it on but yeah so make sure to check out the links in the video description we have everything go power sports got us the bearings uh so huge shout out to them that was 16 bearings uh, that was a huge weight off our shoulders and if you go to like an argo dealership they're super high so uh, if you have one of these make sure to contact go power sports they can probably get you the chain and everything we didn't have to replace any chain because it's so beefy you probably never have to replace this stuff but uh if you're looking for double 50 chain i'm sure the boys at go power sports can get you and check out those tilts and 212s if you have anything you want to swap out an engine now we have a 212 tilts and on our tiller and our pressure washer it's running awesome and uh it's cool having we got race uh, race yard equipment but uh make sure to check out those links they help us to continue to do these videos uh stay tuned to the next one and very soon we'll be meeting up with finnegan and riding this thing on water do you think she'll float we'll see but uh, thank you guys for watching we love you and god bless